Sector Anchorage conducted a port state control boarding on the Albany Sound Monday. Okay, we do uh, port state control boardings to uh, eliminate substandard vessels from coming into our port. So we go on here, we're looking for primarily life saving, uh, security, uh, all kinds of stuff, um, firefighting issues, so basically to make sure that they don't spill oil or have some sort of accident. The team from Sector Anchorage was looking at the ship's documentation, material condition, and crew ability to confirm the vessel is meeting the IMO safety of life at sea, an international ship, and port security code. The ship's documentation must be valid and up-to-date. Certificates for registry, class, international tonnage, load line, ship security, and others are required. The team also conducts a physical inspection of the ship. A key point is to look at the ship's steering by running both generators, manually steering, and verifying the ship's heading with the bridge. On this vessel, the fire pump is in the same room. Powell's observes its operation while Stifle goes up on deck to see the stream of water produced by the pump. Hoses are run fore and aft. The examiners find the engine room is immaculate. None of the extinguishers are expired and there are no fire hazards. Examiners check to see if the oily water separator is functioning and has not been bypassed. After the control room, they'll look at the fixed firefighting system. CO2 is stored here. These uh, hoses, their requirements for their hydros. Our bottles are off of the deck. You have to have a, a means to weigh the bottles that you can hook up. Meanwhile, P.F. Sir Parker is examining the galley, food storage, a sick bay, and living quarters to make sure everything is stored correctly and clean. The final part of the exam is to conduct drills with the crew. Fire, fire, fire. The fire drill is next. The crew musters, then quickly gets to their stations and dresses out to fight the fire. They are quick and mindful of their fellow crew. Howells tells them the fire is out of control and they must abandon ship. Again they muster and then test the lifeboat release. Things have gone well. There are no discrepancies. The captain gets a final copy of the exam before the team departs the ship. The 552-foot Albany Sound will offload the rest of its cargo. This is just one of over 8,000 foreign flag vessels from more than 100 countries that arrive in the U.S. each year, carrying about 90% of the commercial freight that arrives or departs the U.S.